Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the following SQL commands. First one, select a statement. Second one, select a limit statement. Third one, delete statement fourth one delete limit statement and the fifth one update statement now we'll discuss one by one so by using select statement we can retrieve the records from one or more tables in mysql that is Select is a statement which is used to retrieve the date records or data from one or more tables. See the syntax how to use select statement. See the syntax, the first one. See the syntax, this can be smaller caps. Select star from tables where condition order by either ascending or descending based on your expression this is one way of using syntax how does it select a statement with a select a statement let me open my mysql prompt and now select let me show all the test tables how many tables i'm having so show tables okay i want to use select star from test to five table now this is my table now see here so how i'm retrieving the data see here select star from table name yes so i'm going to get what all the data if you want condition based select star from table name where id is equal to 1 so here i'm getting condition based again select if you want either in ascending or descending select the star from table name where id is equal to order by name ascending or des descending click on enter now i'm getting in ascending order or not Yes, if you want in descending, use or descending. Already we saw it in our previous videos. What is ascending order by descending, etc. Click on it. Now see here. So I'm getting in descending order or not? Yes. So this is one way of using select. I want to use in column based. So select ID from table test 5. So I'm going to get what? Only IDs. Suppose I want only names, select a name from table name, test 5. So here I am getting only names. I want multiple columns, select ID, separate with comma, name from test 5. So here I am getting what? Column based, right? So this is the way of using select statement. Second one, select limit statement. So how to use? Select limit statement. Now see here, same syntax but it's small variation. Now see here, select star or if you want you can specify columns from tables where condition condition followed by expression order by order by expression mm, which one ascending or descending either if you want ascending or if you want you can go with descending space i want to limit it i want to limit the number of records written based on my limit value mm, limit 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 i'm writing here row underscore count 
The MySQL limit statement is used to retrieve records from one or more tables in MySQL and uh, limit the number of records written based on a limit value. Okay, now see here what I'm doing. Let me execute it. See here, select star from test to 5 fair id is equal to 1 order by name now see here i am writing now what limit limit i want 2 i am writing limit as a 2 now see here so how many i am getting only 2 if i don't use the limit uh, just observe here so how many i am getting 4 so if you want to restrict that uh, then we can go for what limit so this is the use of sql limit now third one delete statement this delete statement is used to delete a single record or multiple records from a table in mysql see the syntax how to use it delete from which table table name where condition this is way of using the delete statement now see here how to use this one just go with one example so that we'll get the clarity open my sql command line now see here how i'm doing delete from what is my table name test to 5 where name is equal to masters now see here click on enter now see here query is okay one row affected now see here select a star from test to 5 now see here are you seeing anywhere that uh, name is equal to masters no clear right so this is the use of delete statement now so even we can go with what uh, two conditions as well that is like a uh, delete from table name where something like a uh, name is equal to something name is equal to i am writing let me write it here something name is equal to ramesh soft Hyderabad and ID is equal to 5. ID is equal to 5. See here, query is affected or not? See here, is there an ID is equal to 5? Yes. So, query is okay. Zeros are affected. Select now. Select a star from test 5. It's clear, right? Now, if you want to use a aggregate function also, we can use it. Now, see here. Select count of star from test 5 where id is equal to 1 see here so how many ids that is having id is equal to 1 3 i am having so i am getting it or not yes clear so this is the way of using delete statement next one let's go with the fourth one delete limit statement delete limit statement see the syntax how to use it delete from table where condition and even if you want we can write order by expression can be a column either it is in ascending or descending ascending or descending even we can limit the rows as well limit rows so this is the way of using delete limit this is a syntax to use what delete with the limit rows okay now let me add it insert into table test to 5 values uh, so let me insert uh, something i am writing 8 comma 
hello again okay insert now right select star from test file now i'm getting all the values now see here what i'm doing select the star from test file where name is equal to hello hello order by i'm writing name ascending or either descending i'm writing limit as 2 now see here i'm getting only the limit 2 now we'll work this one with a delete now see here let's use here simply delete delete star from table name where name is equal to hello order by name ascending limit to 2 oh sorry so it should index itself is wrong right delete from table name where name is equal to hello order by name ascending i am limiting it to 2 now see here so query is now select see the impact whether it is deleted or not select star from test file see here how many hellos are there now two is there let me delete that two as well now see here delete from test file where name is equal to order by m click on enter now let's see the impact the deleted or not select star from test file now see here are you seeing anything now so this is the use of delete to limit so we can delete the records based on our limit as well now the one more is update statement update statement by using this update statement command we can update the records now see here the mysql update statement is used to update existing records in a table in mysql database so basically we have different types of syntaxes are there to update the statement now see here let's go with first one update table set a set a column 1 is equal to expression 1 comma column 2 is equal to expression 2 etc etc where condition this is one way and even second syntax is update table set a column 1 is equal to expression 1 comma column 2 is equal to expression 2 etc where condition order by expression it can be a column name either which one ascending or descending descending even we can limit the row count as well row count as well this is what another way of using the update syntax even we can go with the subquery syntax as well see here third approach update table table one set a column here i am writing inner query select star or expression expression from table to where condition close it again outer where outer where condition these are different approaches to use what 
select statement let's go with one by one now see here so how to use update statement so i'm writing update whatever table name test to five set up name is equal to java with selenium where where id is equal to five click on enter now see here rows matched one changed one let's see here select star from test to five now see here in place of five instead of null now what is the value i'm updating java with selenium so in this way we can use what update statement okay i hope you understood and uh, thanks for watching the video have a good day